how flying taxis could soon be a booming business. We're seeing a new generation of battery-powered flying machines designed for urban transport. Today, we are discussing how flying taxis could soon be a booming business. From the emergence of electric aircraft, specifically flying taxis and small electric planes, and their potential impact on urban transport and short-haul flights. Let's listen in. So, talks about the electrification of aviation and is no longer just a pipe dream. We're seeing a new generation of battery-powered flying machines designed for urban transport. That's right. One of the main players in this industry is Ballacopter, a German maker of electric aircraft. They're planning to launch a flying taxi service in Paris during the Olympic Games next year. These flying taxis, known as Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing EVTOL aircraft, are like supersized drones. They can carry one to four passengers, plus a pilot, and they're powered by batteries. And the best part is that they're both quiet and fast. They can reach speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, which is faster than a car stuck in traffic. It's also worth noting that these electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles could potentially operate autonomously. Absolutely. And the potential for this industry is huge. Morgan Stanley predicts that global spending on EVTOLs could reach $1 trillion by 2040. There are already over 400 contenders developing EVTOL designs. However, there are some challenges to overcome. Technical certification is a lengthy process, and aviation regulators are still figuring out how to handle these new aircraft. Some manufacturers are closer to having machines in service, but others are still further off. And then there's the question of whether flying taxis will be viable from a business standpoint. Currently, the cost of these EVTOLs range from $1 million to $4 million. While the industry may see cost reductions as it develops, flying taxi rides could still be expensive for the average person. True. Some studies suggest that fares could end up as high as $7 per kilometer, which is much higher than a regular taxi fare. So, it remains to be seen whether flying taxis will truly be accessible to the masses. But there's also another opportunity for electrification in aviation. Small fixed wing planes designed for short haul flights between nearby cities. Hart Aerospace, a Swedish firm, plans to have a 30-seater electric plane in the air by 2028. And aviation, an Israeli company has successfully tested a nine-seater electric plane with a range of 400 kilometers. These environmentally friendly short-haul flights could be a game-changer for travel within a few hundred kilometers. Absolutely, and with air travel accounting for only a small percentage of journeys within this distance range, there's a big opportunity for these electric planes to make an impact. Do us a favor and please hit subscribe, and maybe even tell a friend. Now let's keep the discussion going taking a look at